Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Epic here and in today's video we are going over the G43 Last Resort Blueprint. This is just a, eh, it's like a plain old rusty camo with some straps on the front. Not really too special and nothing too special about it. But for the attachments, for the muzzle we have the Mercury Silencer so we can get that sound suppression and recoil control. We do lose off on some damage but... If you look down at the fire rate or the uh, effective damage range, it's not really that bad. It's only 11% you're losing, but um, with this gun, you're going to be like mid to close range, really. I saw it was really good. I was never really at long range because I was playing on that um, Mayhem map. But for the barrel, we have the full auto one. So you just tap the button and it goes off like it says. It turns into a fully automatic, which is nice. The downside is the damage and the accuracy, but the only problem I've had was the ammo just because it's only a, the, the biggest mag is a 20 round mag. You can't really do anything about it, but optic, we have the slate reflector for the stock. We have the ZP custom for the three horizontal recoil and the ADS speed for the under barrel. We have the hand stop. For the recoil control and accuracy the magazine we have the 20 round mag clouser mag eight millimeter um you don't have that many cons you just have the ads speed reload quickness and movement speed i don't see the point in having a 10 round mag i get the damage and bullet penetration all that shit, but it takes away fire rate makes you a bad recoil movement speed is bad and uh ads speed this one pointless you might as well use a 20 round mag that has nothing to it 10 rounds is not going to get you into any gun fights the 6.5 i might have to test that out because it looks really good and the um oh fire rate goes by fast by two percent so you might run out of ammo faster than using this one so i use this one in the gameplay because it's not fully leveled up but Anyways, I was using a hollow point because I'm pretty sure this is what came on the gun. You do lose on some effective, uh, some damage range, but that's fine. If you're up close up and you're shooting people, you're definitely going to kill them faster. It's going to have a really fast TTK, but as always, I definitely recommend lengthen for the bullet velocity. It's going to make the fire, the firepower definitely better and it's going to add 12.5% effective damage range and 30% bullet velocity, which is very good for this gun. Coming in at the rear grip, we have the simple grip tape for the recoil recovery and the initial recoil or accuracy and recoil. Sorry, that's going to give you plus two vertical, plus two horizontal. And for the centering speed, you get 20. For the proficiency, I have the tight grip. So you have 1% accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. So if someone's shooting at you, you're going you're gonna to have some good accuracy and some good recoil. And then for the kit, we have the fully loaded. So you guys can have ammo right off the bat. So you don't have to call in. Uh, the, uh, I forgot what they're called. Ammo box. Or um, have to like run out of your spot from cover to go get ammo. But this is the blueprint. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys are new, make sure you guys like and subscribe. We upload every day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. All right, we're using this tack rifle blueprint. I don't even know the name of this tack rifle. But I tried to record it this before, and I absolutely hated it. Only reason is because it runs out of ammo really fast. Not a bad gun. It just runs out of ammo really fast, and the um. The only big mag is a 20, or the max mag is a 20 mag, and that is terrible. Holy shit. Almost died of that. 
go. Oh, hell no. Bye. What? I don't know how all of them didn't get exploded. Or how all of them didn't explode. I stuck one of them, I know. Grab more ammo. I don't know how we're doing a triple cap right now. Or where? No way, I didn't think he was actually pre aiming. Out of that. I think the um, the DLC, the M1 whatever, that is probably one of the best um, marksman rifles in the game just because it has the biggest mag I'm pretty sure. It's got one of the biggest mags while it's fully automatic. And it's really good too. You can get a few gunfights and reload.
good. No way two of them came up there. What unfortunate timing. This was so much faster. For movement speed. Oh my. There we go. We got 72 kills and 13 deaths. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.